a lot of people were really surprised about some of the statements when it came to the live playing. Um, that's something I wanted to ask you about. I mean, when we hear things like the majority of Nikki Six's bass playing is a track, I mean, is that something that's even possible in your opinion? Yeah, I mean, you know, nowadays recording uh, on Pro Tools, you know, if you said to me, like, because I, I released a couple songs, you know, a uh, little bit ago. If you said to me, hey, can you just give me the, you know, rhythm guitar track? I could literally just go online, highlight that track and email you just that track. So as far as the drums go or any of that stuff nowadays with computers and all that shit, yeah, it's um, it's possible. Is it happening? I don't know. I haven't toured with Motley for 27 years, 28 years. Um, Was it happening while you were touring with them? No, I mean, we did use tracks. I, I'll mm -hmm. say that right now. Like we used, but we, we were using um, some backing vocal tracks. Okay. Um, and we used for the song Misunderstood, there was a 53 piece orchestra uh, on that track. So we just used the orchestra tracks to enhance what we were doing live on stage. Yeah. But, but then, uh, Nikki was playing bass. Tommy was playing drums. Mick was playing guitar. I was playing guitar and I was singing. Um, yeah. now whether or not they've elaborated since I, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, I haven't seen Motley live since uh, I saw them one time in my entire life. And that was a tour they did in like 2003 or four with they toured with Aerosmith. Right. OK. Uh, yeah. And I saw them that one time and I haven't seen them since. So yeah. I don't know about. Mick's claims, M Mick has never really been a bullshitter in the past. So if he says they were using tracks, then, you know, maybe they were, I don't know. Do you care at all? And that this goes beyond just Motley. I'm just really curious in general, if any band, do you think that that is a negative thing or does it even matter? You know, <clears throat> that's not for me to determine, you know, honestly, uh, you know, I'm sure it's out there, the bands that are using tr tracks to enhance their sound. Um, if the fans want to pay the money for a ticket, knowing that there's probably tracks being played, then that's that's their call. Personally, yeah. um, I don't really believe in it myself. Um you know, I have a solo band, the Dead Daisies. We don't use any tracks at all. Um, are the backing vocals as strong as they are on on the record? No, but it's live. I right. remember as a kid seeing Aerosmith and and hearing you know four part harmonies on songs that Aerosmith did. And then I'd go see them live and it was just Stephen and Joe Perry singing. Yeah. Um, this kind of ratty little whatever. And I I always enjoyed it. It was about seeing the whole band and seeing the whole process and seeing the show. Mm -hmm. Um so personally, I I wouldn't do it, but that's that's just me. Other bands choose to do it, and the fans are still buying tickets for them, then great. Awesome. Knock yourself out. I have no comment, positive or negative, on, on the subject at all. You know what I mean? I, I just, to each his own. 